in their son Baron were the picture of happiness as they left the White House on Friday afternoon to head off for a family weekend away in the wake of the president's ongoing, very public feud with MSNBC hosts Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski. The first family looked relaxed and carefree as they made their way onto Marine One, pausing to smile and wave at the waiting cameras before later boarding Air Force One and heading to Bedminster, New Jersey, where they are due to stay until Monday. All three coordinated in very patriotic red, white, and blue ensembles, with Melania donning a red and white gingham skirt and white blouse while President Trump opted for a navy blue suit and striped blue tie, and their 11-year-old son Baron looked relaxed in a blue t-shirt and beige shorts. Melania, who has been joined by her parents, Victor and Amelia Janavs, for the weekend, accessorized her ensemble with a pair of sky-high Christian Labatton heels and added a touch of glamour courtesy of her statement sunglasses. At one point, Donald rested a reassuring hand on his wife's back in a very public gesture of support, and, no doubt, of rebuttal against recent claims that Melania is not entirely committed to their marriage. The first family's departure from Washington, D.C. comes just one day after the president became embroiled in a furious and very public dispute with MSNBC hosts Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski that led to the latter making a sensational claim on Friday that Melania is only staying with her husband for the sake of their son Baron. Brzezinski put some oomph behind unsubstantiated rumors that Melania Trump wants out of her marriage during an interview with InStyle that appeared on the magazine's website. I know Melania. I haven't talked to her in months, but if my gut is right, I don't think she's going to put up with it much longer, Brzezinski said. I know nothing. That's just my instinct, and I go with my gut and my gut's always right. Then, in a startling suggestion she claimed her gut was telling her that the first lady was only doing the worst job in the country for the sake of her young son, Baron. I'm just telling you, Melania's got the worst job in the country and I don't think she wants do it a lot longer. I think she will do it for as long as she has to for her son, and that's it, Brzezinski said. Melania then issued a furious condemnation of Mika on Friday afternoon after the morning Joe co-host suggested she wanted out of her marriage to the president. The first lady issued a statement to DailyMail.com, claiming Brzezinski does not know her. Hours after an explosive interview with the MSNBC broadcaster appeared online. It is sad when people try to further their own agenda by commenting on me and my family, especially when they don't know me, she said. The short statement directly contradicted Mika's claim to know the first lady and came despite Melania's first interview after her husband announced he was running for office being with Brzezinski. Ironically she said then, we have thick skin, and we know that people will judge him, and people will call names. She gave the interview inside her lavish, and very golden New York City penthouse. The public spat between President Trump and the MSNBC hosts began on Thursday, when President Trump tore into pair in a series of tweets for trash-talking him on their show, prompting a huge backlash which even saw members of his own party speaking out against him. I heard poorly rated at Morning Joe Speaks badly of me, don't watch anymore, then how come low IQ crazy Mika, along with Psycho Joe, came to mar lago three nights in a row around New Year's Eve and insisted on joining me. She was bleeding badly from a facelift. I said no. The tweet which included a Midge and Kelly attack on Brzezinski, appeared to be in reaction to the hosts calling him a proven liar, and came after a series of clashes between him and Scarborough and Brzezinski, to whom he had previously been close. During the first few minutes of Thursday's show, Scarborough had called out Trump for being a fake populist, 
and pointed a finger at Senate Republicans saying their health care bill gave tax cuts to their donors at the expense of robbing the poor. Brzezinski chimed in and said the president, a proven liar, made Hass Republicans look like fools by making them celebrate their bill's passage in a rose garden ceremony last month. She also made fun of the size of his hands, calling them teensy, with glee. Thank you for watching. For the follow up, subscribe to the channel yourself here. عاشق شدنم دست تو بود اینجا گیری قبل هرچه میگفتی تا دنیا دنیا هست هم صحبت تنهایی من میشینه میری از من دور دور نشی که هر جور جون بگی میدم تو هم نفس من چی هم نفس من چی عشق و دل من چی زندگی من دل خوشی من
for the follow-up, subscribe to the channel yourself here.